Are you looking for some fresh outfit ideas for spring summer? If so, then this is the video for you. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I wanna show you some very wearable, stylish, fresh, spring outfit ideas. All of these outfits were shot on location at a very exclusive resort in Utah called the Amangiri. Recently, Chris and I celebrated our 15th wedding anniversary and this was how we decided to spend some time together and also celebrate. So we went to Amangiri and while we were there, we had a few days to ourselves, no kids, no dog, no stuff. And Chris loves to work out, works out every single day versus me, like my 10 to 30 minute like little thing. It worked out perfectly where I got to shoot my clothes in this beautiful landscape while he went running or worked out at the gym or both. So I have so many outfit ideas that I love that I am excited to show you that I think are very versatile, wearable, chic, simple. And a lot of these pieces, even though they're all new, you may have versions of them in your closet. So always be thinking about that in the back of your mind. Like, do I already have a really pretty like eyelet white top? Do I already have jean shorts? Do I already have white jeans? Do I already have joggers? I think that there are probably some of these pieces you already have. So just be thinking about that. In this video, I'm gonna focus on jeans and pants. And then I'm gonna do a part two where I'm gonna focus on shorts, dresses, and swimsuits. Are you ready? Let's do it, let's get started. I'm gonna go buy the type of pant and then I'm just like swapping out top. So I'm gonna start with boyfriend jeans. The first pair of boyfriend jeans is by R13. They are super cool. They're definitely on the baggy side, which I talked about in previous videos, is sort of where jeans are going. They're getting more oversized and looser and baggier. And that's, you know, across the board silhouettes like bigger oversized blazers, bigger oversized coats, etc. The boyfriend jean though specifically is a nice place to start because it's not super duper oversized. So these R13s are also very cropped. So if you're on the petite side, they're gonna be awesome for you. If you're taller, probably not gonna work. But there are certainly other boyfriend jeans. We can always link something similar below in the description box. So the first look is a black blouse. It's very billowy in the tummy area with some sleeves that are puffy. It's by Never Wallflower. This is a designer that's based in Denver and works regularly with one of our boutique owners here in Telluride. So that's how I found out about her. And this is kind of her iconic design. And I think it's a great top for spring summer because it is billowy, it's lightweight, it's breathable, it's cotton, it has a V-neckline, it's got some sleeves, so if you want that arm coverage, the puff sleeve has some modern detail. But then it also is quite roomy in the tummy, so if that's an area of concern for you, it gives you that tummy forgiveness that you might be looking for if there are issues with you know, the menopause or you know, just bloating or too many carbs, whatever the case may be. So sometimes it's just nice to have that, you know, just that forgiveness so that you can really just let it all hang out, if you know what I mean. Pair that with the R13 boyfriend jeans, some Julie Voss bracelets. You all know how much I love my Julie Voss bracelets. These are all, it's fashion jewelry, but that's plated. So they really do retain the gold color. They're very glamorous and bold. These are new sunglasses. I got these because I just thought the shape was funky. It's more of an oval shape. These are by Lueve. And then some brown Dolce Vita suede booties. These are older, but you can always swap out the booties. Like if you're in Alabama or Texas or Florida or Southern California, Nevada, wherever you are that's super hot in this country, you can always swap the booties for a pair of sandals or something that's a little more summery. So that's option number one. And by the way, this is like a classic combination. Black blouse, jeans, booties, sunglasses, and a couple of accessories, you're done. So if you were like, what's my spring summer formula gonna be? This is a hell of a formula. You're kinda gonna see the same formula throughout this video where we're just doing pants, top, shoes, accessory, sunglasses, and I'm just reworking the formula. So I love to think about it in those terms because I think it makes getting dressed much simpler day in and day out if you think of it in terms of a formula. I know it works for me. I know what silhouettes work for me. I know this formula works for me. And so that's your go-to. That's look number one. Look number two is another 
black. This one's a button down. It's by Jonathan Simkai. It's cotton poplin, so it has that real silky feel to it. It's wrinkle resistant, which is why I love to travel with cotton poplin, which I talked about at length, I feel like last year or this year. Yeah, last year when I went to the Middle East, I brought a bunch of cotton poplin dresses. So I love, love, love this fabric for travel. So it's the same R13 boyfriend jeans, the same suede booties, and a beautiful Chanel bag. I haven't really talked about this Chanel bag. It is a bag that I bought myself as a sort of celebratory gesture for the year that I had in 2022. I had wanted to buy it a year before I bought it so late and it was only because I couldn't find the bag anywhere. And I walked into a store in Madrid and I walked into the store in New York and I couldn't find the bag. On a re fairly recent trip to New York, I was passing by Bergdorf Goodman. I was telling my kids a story about the first time I went into Bergdorf and felt so uncomfortable and felt like the sales lady was looking me up and down. And I said, I want you guys to come in here with me because it's such a beautiful store and I want you to feel comfortable walking in a store like this. And I went in there and I went to the Chanel area and then lo and behold, they had the bag got the bag and I thought, you know what, this this happened exactly how, how it was supposed to happen because then my kids got to see me buying something really special for myself in celebration of something that I and my team achieved in 2022 that I felt was quite remarkable. Anyway, I didn't mean to go down that rabbit hole, but <laughs> there you have it. That's the story of the bag. Here again, if you wanted to swap out the booties for some espadrilles or flat sandals or cute little chic sneaks, you could do that. We're sticking with the same jeans. We're just swapping out that top again and going for this R13 gathered hem white button down. What I love about this R13 top is a couple things. I love that it has the bubble hem, that it's more cropped, so it looks really good with the high rise jean. You don't have to worry about tucking. I also love that it's a little more oversized, like I talked about before, the oversized silhouettes being really on trend and being really where fashion is at the moment. By the way, don't give up all your tailored stuff and your skinny jeans and all that. I mean, everything comes back around, right? Your favorite ones you keep, you store, and then you just slowly maybe consider adding some fresh, new, more modern pieces. So I just love a white button down anyway, but I love these extra details. The bubble hem, which felt very new and modern and also very practical because you don't have to tuck, and then the oversized silhouette. With this one, I'm wearing the same suede booties and the same concept applies. If you are in a hotter climate, just swap out the booties for sandals. I love when I get the comments like, I live in Alabama and it's hot as hell. <laughs> I know, but half the country is, like it's blizzarding out right now here in the Colorado, like full blown blizzard, like school was canceled today. So half of the country is still in cooler weather. So I'm just trying to kind of speak to everybody. So just take what I'm showing and sharing and then modify it so that it works for you and works for where you live, your lifestyle, your climate, your budget, all of it, okay? Just suggestions and ideas to kind of get the fashion mojo, fashion inspiration percolating. We will put links, by the way, to all the looks in the description box below as we always do. If you have sizing questions, any questions, let us know. Rachel, our community manager, will get back to you. Outfit number four. This one is a very pretty camel blouse by Les Gens with the same R13 boyfriend jeans. So this could be a good casual Friday work outfit or travel outfit or weekend kicking around or dinner. You can lose the scarf to keep it simpler. I just, I don't know, I felt like adding the scarf in this environment because it's just so appropriate for the desert, but you can always lose the scarf. The blouse itself is very beautiful. It does run large, so I would recommend sizing down, so I'm wearing an extra small. Normally, I would wear a small. I finished off the look with some round tortoiseshell sunglasses and some hoop earrings. These hoop earrings are by Dean Davidson. Let's move on to my new favorite flare jeans. These are by Alice and Olivia. They're super high rise. They are fit and flare. They're also really cool. I love the seam that goes all the way down the legs. I feel like it's so elongating, so slimming. I mean, these jeans, if you want that look of legs for days, regardless of your height, these jeans are amazing. Now, they do run really, really long. For me to wear these jeans, I have to wear like my huge C by Chloe wedges, like a four or five inch wedge in order to make them work. 
I could easily go to the tailor and knock a couple inches off, but you don't want to knock too much off because then the shape or the integrity of the jean is compromised. So that's a consideration. If you're five feet tall, I wouldn't get these jeans because it doesn't matter how high the heels are, they're just not gonna work and then you're gonna have to lop off like three or four inches. But if you, I'd say like five, four, five, 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 six, you can still pull it off, but just know you're gonna have to wear them with really high platforms or really high espadrille sandals. So these jeans I love. I'm gonna show these jeans with a couple of looks, but first with that same black cotton poplin and Jonathan Simkai top, which by the way, I was styled recently by Jonathan Simkai himself at a local boutique here in Telluride, and that was really cool. He is just so talented. I love his designs. You guys remember the white dress, the white maxi pleated dress that I featured last year with the cutout at the waist and the chain detail. I just, I have so many pieces of his and I just love his designs. So the same black puff sleeve, cotton pop on top, same Julie Voss bracelets. I did get this Fendi giant sunshine tote bag. I got it mostly for travel to carry on top of a carry-on suitcase. It is wide open, it doesn't zip up, so that's a consideration if you're thinking about it for travel. It also is quite large, so I didn't really feel great about putting it underneath the seat in front of me. So what I would do is check your carry-on and then take your sunshine tote and put it in the overhead bin or just carry it for other things other than travel. The next way I style these really cool light blue Alice and Olivia jeans is with an Alice and Olivia butterfly blouse. I think I showed you guys this one before. I love it so much. The colors, the, the butterflies themselves, the little puff shoulder, the way it fits in the body, the length of it, it's not too long. Again, if you have a long torso, it's probably not gonna work, but if you're more petite, it is really a shorter top with that rounded hem, so it's lovely whether you tuck it in or leave it out. It just really says spring, summer to me. It's just really pretty and, and joyful. I love the butterflies. Finished off that look with some white Dior sunglasses and a really chunky chain link necklace by Paco Rabanne. Would you guys wear the butterfly blouse or does that feel a little too out of your comfort zone? For me, when I first saw it, I was like, I don't know, it's probably gonna be out of my comfort zone, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And now I just like, I love looking at it. I love wearing. <laughs> Who dis, as the kids say, dis, D-I-S, yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, does anyone else have children that call them bruh? Where'd that come from? When did I become bruh? Or Elizabeth loves to call me sis. Like, what are you talking about, sis? Like, I'm not your sister, man. I'm your mom. I'm your freaking mom. <laughs> it does crack me up, but it is like kind of disturbing at the same time. I wanna move on to some white jeans because I feel like white jeans are really one of those wardrobe staples in the spring, summer that everyone should have regardless of age, regardless of size, regardless of body shape. I just think they're so versatile, so neutral, so wearable, so fresh. By the way, if you're not sure like what basics you should have, I did a really comprehensive course. It's called Style Made Simple. And I walk you through module by module. You get all kinds of lists and all kinds of cool resources. You can sign up for that and really make sure you have that basic wardrobe dialed in because without the basics, getting dressed each and every day is so much more challenging. I saw it over and over and over again when I worked with clients one-on-one. -on -one. The, I would say, number one issue was women didn't have the basics. So just wanted to mention that. We'll put a link to it below in the description box. And these next two looks I'm wearing the white mother hustler jeans. I love these jeans. I've had them for years. They're still available. Um, they're great length. If I wanna wear flats or sneakers or heels, it doesn't matter. They just really fit very well. And I just love the way they look too. They have the frayed hem and that gives it a little extra modern touch. But really it's just like more about the fit and the feel for me with the white jeans, especially with white jeans. It has to be like the right heft of the denim. It can't be bulky in the pocket area. It can't be too see-through. It has to be breathable. The length is important. A lot of times I wanna wear flats in the summer. So these are really heavy hitters for me. So the first look is that same Alice and Olivia butterfly blouse with the white jeans. Some Sam Edelman flat sandals. These have been around for a few years. Sam Edelman shoes in general are very comfortable. They're also relatively affordable. Perhaps more importantly, if you do most of your shopping online like I do, there's size uniformity. So if you're like a freaking seven and a half, you're a seven and a half, period, end of story. I find that particularly refreshing, <laughs> obviously. 
I don't know what it is. I, I will return so many things, but returning shoes, it just hurts. Like it hurts me inside. Finished off this look with the same white, kind of retro inspired white Dior cat eye sunglasses and some Julie Voss gold bracelets. The next way I styled it is with this really cool long sleeve, very lightweight, paper thin, kind of sheer age blouse. I love the detail on the sleeve at the top of this blouse. And it also, again, is just very lightweight. So if you run hot, if you want arm coverage without having the heat of the arm coverage, this blouse is really perfect. Plus, if you are a pink fan like me, you're really gonna love this top. It is sheer, so you have to wear some sort of cami or tank underneath, but for me lately, I think I shared this with you guys, I'm wearing tanks and like crop tanks as bras these days. Like I just, I can't deal with like underwire, so I'm, I'm just doing camis with a built-in bra or kind of like a sports bra with a, with a little extra coverage. If you do something like that, then you don't need an extra layer. All right, now I wanna to switch to some joggers. These are fairly new, they're by Paige. It's quite a slim fit jogger with some traditional elastic at the ankle. These joggers, I feel like they fit so well, they feel good, they're comfortable. So I am likely bringing these with me on my trip to Africa. And I'll share more about that trip later on. But I think these joggers are really cool, but they're also very wearable, very functional, very comfortable, and very flattering. So paired the joggers with that same, you know, gathered bubble hem white shirt by R13, the chain link necklace by Paco Roman, the C by Chloe wedges. I love my C by Chloe wedges. They're so high, especially these espadrilles are so high. And then they have that white, foamy, spongy stuff at the bottom, so it feels very springy and comfortable. They're the most comfortable, highest wedges I've ever had. The next look is actually with a different pair of pants. These are cargo pants from Banana Republic. You guys might remember these from a video I did fairly recently where a lot of the pieces in the video were from Banana Republic. I talked about my newfound love and appreciation for Banana Republic. They've redone so much and, and the site and the feel and the quality is all up leveled. So if you haven't looked lately, I'd check out Banana Republic. These cargo pants are really cool because they come in short, long, regular, and petite, which I thought was great because sometimes I feel like I need a petite pant, but I don't need petite size. I just need the shorter length. Oh, by the way, cargo pants right now or anything, utility is majorly on trend. Major, major, major. It's actually good for me right now because I am shopping for Africa, which by the way, I can only bring 40 pounds total. This is like a new level of packing challenge for me. I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> it's not a process that I particularly love, but let's see what I pull off, I don't know. So pair these cargo pants with this really pretty off-white billowy blouse by Velvet. So if you need just like a great basic everyday blouse, you want the arm coverage, you want a like pretty neckline with some detail, some tummy forgiveness, I feel like this is the kind of the perfect top for all of those to check all of those boxes. Same gold bracelets. And the hat is actually from the hotel. <laughs> they had in this in the Amangiri. We stayed at the tent camps, which is actually on the other side of the resort. Every little detail was so thoughtful and intentional. So you had like tan umbrellas and a straw hat and beautiful robes and you know, everything was sighted gorgeously. So you had this epic view. It's a pretty epic resort. I finished off the look with the same round tortoiseshell sunglasses and these sandals by Madewell. I don't know if you guys remember me showing you these last year. I love these. I'm actually gonna take these with me to Africa too. They're very comfortable. They're sort of Birkenstock-ish, but without the, it's not as wide. And it's good, especially if you have a narrow foot, they are quite narrow. I love the color, it's very neutral, versatile. And they have some tread, which makes them really easy to walk in. All around, awesome, like everyday, summery sandal. If it's chilly where you live, you can easily wear the same cargo pants with some booties and a sweater, do a crop sweater so you show off and highlight the waistband, which is really cool. So we went through a lot of looks. Let's do a really speedy recap. First, highlighted the boyfriend jeans by R13, styled them with a black blouse. Next, a cropped black button down. 
Again, with the same brown booties. A white button down that is also cropped, has a bubble hem. The camel blouse with the same jeans. Then I swapped out the jeans for a pair of High Rise Fit and Flare by Alice and Olivia. Showed you that with the same black crop button down shirt. And the butterfly blouse. Next up were the white jeans. I showed you those with the butterfly blouse and the pink blouse. The joggers paired with the white cropped button down. And lastly, the cargo pants with the white billowy velvet blouse that I think would be a great basic. So in part two, again, we're gonna cover swimsuits. We're gonna cover shorts, jean shorts, dresses. I've got a lot of great white dresses to show you and just dresses in general. So I'm very excited about that. Again, set in this epic Utah landscape that is so magical and otherworldly, I would call it. It looks like no other place on earth. Reminds me a lot of Moab. If you've been in Moab, Utah, same kind of setup. By the way, if you go to Moab, Stay at Sorrel River Ranch. It's lovely and it's great for families. But anyway, this is not a travel video. I just wanted to <laughs> share a couple of tidbits if you happen to be going to Utah. What questions do you have? Which look was your favorite? What other topics would you like to see coming up? We love your ideas. We're always looking for fresh new ideas. And the whole point of us being here is to serve you, to help you and guide you however you know that looks best for you. So we really do take your feedback into strong consideration and really appreciate it when you do share your feedback. So please feel free to share what your needs are, what your style needs are, and we will do our very best to accommodate. If you love this video and you haven't already hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, please do. Maybe share my channel over on your Facebook page or with a friend. I'd really appreciate that too. Thank you all so, so much for being here. Love y'all and I will see you next time. Bye.